Hello, and welcome to another Emotion Alchemy session. This is Beth, your self-care specialist at Divine Me Time. In Emotional Alchemy, we work with the substance of emotions through inquiry, breath, and movement, and the application of a powerful elixir to make gold. Emotion Alchemy is not therapy, rather it's a means for those ready and willing to face difficult emotions hold space for them, and feel them in order to heal them. If one is in a state of overwhelm, one must first address the underlying issues with a qualified therapist. Emotion alchemy is what would come next as a true tantric process for moving within an energy in order to be transformed by it without expectation or bypass. Ultimately, it is an act of self-care and self-love. If you'd like to know more about Emotion Alchemy or would like to work with me privately, you can visit my website, divinemetime.com. Today, we'll be working with the fourth trio of emotions, hurt, regret, and grief. This is a pretty heavy trio, but the rewards are ultimately compassion, contentment, and resilience. When embarking on this trio, Consider timing and what's right for you. If your feelings are especially raw, you might find this more appropriate further along in your healing. Also know that each of the exercises presented, although done in a sequence here, can be done a la carte, according to what feels nurturing to you in the moment. And know that for demonstration purposes, the practices are fairly short, but you might find you need a lot more time to process, and in this case, pause the video and give yourself that time. The elixir we'll be working with today is honor. Please come to the floor in easy pose or a comfortable seated position. You may prefer to sit in a chair. We'll begin with a mudra, the fingers interlaced with the thumbs extended, pressing the hands gently onto the heart. Breathe and settle yourself turning your focus to the emotions of hurt, regret, and grief. Memories or sensations may arise as you do this. Try to maintain an observation of them, even if there is a part of you that feels them quite strongly. Use the pressure of the hands to steady and ground yourself. Ask yourself, what was lost to me? that I felt hurt or regret or grief? The answers might be obvious, as in the case of grief, or a little harder to discern. Answers may come or not, and this is not important. What is important is sitting with the question. Asking the question in the present tense, what is lost to me or in danger of being lost to me is just another kind of angle to come from. And it might provide a slightly different perspective. We will now practice what is called the sobbing breath. This may induce actual crying, which can be very helpful if you feel stuck in that regard. If that happens, ignore the video and let it out, taking as much time as you need. You can always restart this when ready. 
You will breathe sniffing in through the nose multiple times until your lungs are completely filled. Then on a segmented exhalation, you will make any of the vowel sounds, uh, ah, O, O, or E. If something else comes, that's fine. Just let it come. Try not to hold the body stiff. Let the body move with the breath and respond as it might an actual wailing. Get in touch with deeply held energies and use the opportunity to release them. Let your shoulders go. When you feel complete, take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now sit quietly and note the effects of the practice. Consider the questions, in what ways do I feel unsafe to feel hurt, regret, or grief? Let's take a sip of our elixir and honor ourselves and whatever it is that we discover here. In our next practice, we will assume a tight fetal curl. You may want something to support your head. We don't want the neck craned uncomfortably. Choose a side to lie on and cross your top leg under your bottom leg. Cross your arms over your chest and then begin to rock. Keep rocking and feel the rocking unwedging the energy of hurt, regret and grief. Use the breath to expand the backspace of the lungs. Rock and notice what arises. Now be still, be still and feel the, re the reverberation or vibration in the body.
Let's briefly turn on to the back and then continue on to lie on our second side. We'll repeat. Crossing top leg under bottom leg, crossing the arms and rocking. Now be still and once again notice the vibration reverberating throughout the body. Coming now to a kneeling position, in this next practice, we'll move through resistance. This is really powerful, not to be done if pregnant or after eating, so go gently when first learning it and ensure you have the proper support you need for your head. Beginners, you may want to keep your hands on the floor in the fashion of a push-up, starting with just one minute and then building up to do the full time and that goes for anyone. You can also cross your arms over your shoulders in front of the body or interlace them behind the back. When ready, begin to bow forward, bringing your head gently to the floor with the exhale. Then on the inhale, draw up, keeping the core engaged. Allow your efforts, your own inner resolve and will to propel you on. Let the fatigue grow. Exhaust yourself and your regret or grief. The breath drives you on.
Coming upright and pausing on your heels now. Breathe and sense the effects of the practice. We'll come down now into constructive rest to relax. And if you had your arms behind your back, you may find quite a tension around the pectorals and the front of the chest. Don't let this be concerning to you. It will let go as you breathe and soften. Relax. You may stay as you are now or move into a legs up position with the help of a couch or chair or even the wall, but we will use a chair again later, so have one nearby anyway. So to swing the legs up, please sit parallel to your support and lean off away from it to swing the legs up. Your arms may rest on your body alongside or even overhead. Be comfortable and enjoy a letting go. Additional blankets on the upper body or even weight on the abdomen from a bolster or bean bag might feel especially grounding. Let go of thoughts. Just be with yourself.
to come out. Let's reach overhead and stretch. And draw the legs to the chest, coming into a little ball. Roll onto one side to come up. And we'll use the chair now for a supported forward fold. So face your chair and if you're on a slippery surface and you feel like the chair might get away from you or slide, you can put it up against something so that it has nowhere to go, such as a wall or a bigger piece of furniture. So face your chair, placing one leg around each side. You might want a blanket on the seat of the chair to rest your head, especially if it's a hard seat. Your arms can hold the seat or the legs of the chair or just rest on your legs. This is a good time to release and let go of any old hurts, the pain of regret or grief that may be stored in the body. Feel how this folding over creates a safe space within you to feel. Be there for yourself. Now slowly come upright back to a seated position and move your chair and grab your bolsters. Now let's enjoy a truly restful and nurturing child's pose. If you have two bolsters, stack them lengthwise and draw them between your knees and towards the body. Lengthen your spine and gently lower yourself onto the supports turning your head to one side. If you don't have bolsters and you're going to have to build up this shape and you can do it with bed pillows and extra blankets folded, you want to feel support, that's the main thing. And you want it to be high enough for that to happen. 
rest and breathe. Make a commitment to yourself to honor what is true for you and all of your feelings in terms of hurt and regret. Reclaim now your self-respect and your sense of self. In terms of grief or sadness, reclaim the enduring things that you cherish, the everlasting gratitude or love that remains to be honored. Please turn your head now to the other side. We'll remain here for a few more minutes. Breathe and receive the hug from your supports. Prepare now to come out of the pose using your arms to press yourself back to a seated position. Move slowly. Just one more practice for today's session. Please come to a seated position again. We'll be placing the hands on three centers of the body to help regulate the nervous system. So begin by supporting your head with one hand on the forehead and the other at the back of the head. And breathe. Feel compassion for yourself, those you love, and see if you can reach it out towards those who hurt you, knowing that hurt people hurt people. Go 
ahead and now move your hands to the area of the heart. Breathe and generate a contentment with the present moment where you are safe. Breathing. And now the hands to the lower belly. Feel here a sense of your own strength and inner resilience. Thank you for practicing with me today. Please be extra gentle with yourself as you integrate the efforts of today's practice in the days ahead. To work with me one-on-one -on -one or for more information about Divine Me Time, visit the website and share this video with someone who may benefit. I appreciate you subscribing, liking, and commenting. Be well.